It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it comes your way next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day at that as we are set for football at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good run on tap here as it will be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And CD, you and I, we always enjoy our visits to Kansas City. These fans among the best in football, and they should be a happy punch too. Their guys are defending Super Bowl champions. And the reason that they are is because the offense and the defense, they complement each other so well. Offense gets off the fast starts, allows the defense to just rush the passer, which is a strength of what they do. That and good barbecue, Kansas City, big time favorites. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're gonna be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Get strapped in, it's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from Kansas City. On the return, here comes Pacheco. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. They run with a second year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Mahomes now on first down. That's complete, it's Travis Kelsey. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Another big play here as they strike for 31. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tony, 30 yards. And the Chiefs march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game and they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. 
And the Lions ready to take over on offense for the first time here. And they've got a rookie at the helm, the third round pick from Tennessee, Charles Hendon Hooker. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. First down throw here, it's Hooker. That's gonna be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Here's Hooker. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line. They'll hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. And they'll come up second and seven. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and ten, Hooker. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the ten-yard line. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Here's second and seven. Now a bootleg with Hooker. And they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. Oh, that's a tough one for a quarterback because on a bootleg, you turn your back to the defense naturally and you lose sight of the defenders for just a split second. And then surprise, in this case, someone's right in his grill. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Amon Ross St. Brown. 
a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys because they never want to see their guy get hit. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Pacheco. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got a man, that's Richie James. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll leave him with third full yard to go. A give right side for Pacheco. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Back to Montgomery on second down. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Hooker on first down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 
Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. This now a third and four. Now Hooker. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Hooker now off play action. Now quick throw there is incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed always different no matter what you do in practice you can't simulate it right so your decision making everything has to be a little bit quicker sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust on second down here's gibbs and a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught them a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? Back to the ground. This time Montgomery. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They go play action. Here's Hooker. That's caught by Montgomery, and he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Back to Montgomery on second down. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Hooker. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Now back with the Lions. Here's Riley Patterson on for the field goal. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. 
See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. The 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football. Here now, second and four. As they've got it as we resume action. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's James. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. Chiefs, Richie James from three yards out, and the Chiefs have retaken the lead. For the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play, got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 14 to 10. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, 
They don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Hooker's going to throw it. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, first down there on a pickup of 25. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Brought down by Willie Gay. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Here's second and five now from the 37. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. This offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Here's Hooker to throw it. A strong running. And he is going to have the Lions first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. They try to run on first down, but this defense says no dice. They stop him a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right. Took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. Looking to throw, Hooker. That is caught by LaPorta. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Called at a very strong gain of 24. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Throwing, Hooker. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone says the field judge it's ruled incomplete. We know all the receivers go through those tiptoe drills, right, trying to get their feet down inbounds. But a lot of the times what we don't talk about is when they're up in the air and they catch the ball. You ever notice how they're reaching back with their feet, not just straight down, but back because they're trying to create enough distance to make sure their feet are in bounds. They weren't able to get it done on that one. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Tershawn Wharton. In there to drop him for a loss on the play. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. Back to throw. Hooker. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. 
also a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Patterson's kick is good, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, here comes Pacheco. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scantling. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 22 yards there, a first down. Here's Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon down at the 35. It'll be second down. From the 35, here's second down and seven. Now Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and ten in the red zone. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Well, 
executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Off play action, here's Hooker. This is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. On first and 10, Hooker. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Man open. Here is Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Michael Dana in there to get him. It's a loss of five. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. The well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Now back with the Lions. Here's Riley Patterson on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Patterson's kick is good, and that'll get the lead down to five. 
So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Point game now as here comes the kickoff. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there. That could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On first down, Mahomes. That'll be caught by James. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. A dump down to McKinnon. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two yards, good enough for first. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. This ball deep for Tony. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in KC with the Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the reigning league MVP and Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, who did his thing. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half and he may just be getting started. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. 
Now fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. Boy, left that first defender grasping at air as he winds up getting a full eight yards on that play. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Hooker now off play action. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Hadn't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field that took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Hooker. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hooker's going to throw it. Throw left side to Reynolds. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now Hooker. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. On second down, Montgomery. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Third down, Hooker looks to throw it. Dancing to his left. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play. And he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it. And he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game. In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about saying defense because you think defense is a constant. And offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Second down and three. To throw, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down.
Here's Mahomes to throw. That's complete to Tony. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And some space here. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 61 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. Now here's Mahomes. Chiefs go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Hooker. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. 
It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 77 yards on the ground so far for Montgomery. It's a first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, Hooker. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. Seven yards there and a first down. They run Montgomery down to about the 22 here. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Here's second and three. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering, do I even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game? On uh, first and 10, here's Gibbs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and two. First down marker at the eight. Now a bootleg with Hooker. And fights him off. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Second and goal from inside the five. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. All play action, here's Hooker. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Alvin Ross St. Brown, but now it's third and goal. Here's Hooker to throw it. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds from four yards out. 
And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. Taken at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. he can cause now second and five Mahomes now the throw got an open man it's Valdez Scantling and he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39 seven catches for him now in this last one the first down well that should be a reminder defensively and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw on target to James. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. Pacheco gets it up the gut, and they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Tooney, 47 yards. And the Chiefs are able to build up certainly an important touchdown there and makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that can win the game for us. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Raymond now on the return. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. 
So out now come the Lions. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. to Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. From the 28, it's second and five. Working out of the shotgun, Hooker. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play was just shut down right from the start. And not going to give him a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Looking to throw, Hooker. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. Throwing, Hooker. And that will be incomplete as well. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Here comes Tony on the return. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and it's Chiefs football. First and ten. As the offense reemerges, there's wide receiver Kadarius Tony leading him out. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so so far and there's a good opportunity to just went awry there a drop pass I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs now a second and ten on play action it's Mahomes and his throw is gonna be incomplete they certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Mahomes now on first down. Over the middle complete. That's James. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, 
something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A handoff now for Pacheco. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. 73 yards on the ground for him so far. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Touchdown! Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Butker on for the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away here's Raymond bringing it out and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21 time for another look at this Lions offense the last series for him a little disappointing forced to punt and now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive first and ten On first and 10, Hooker. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Hooker on first down. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. 
it's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Again, it's Hooker looking to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. So just three yards on the completion there. And now that sets up third and two. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Third and two, here's Hooker. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Hooker going to try and throw for it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. First down throw here, it's Hooker. And that is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Here's second and 10. Booker. A little short pass here. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is. They're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, out of ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. But the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. That is caught. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Now second and three. Here's Hooker. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to and Maybe his rhythm was confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. They'll go for it. Hooker. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago.
They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and seven. Again, it's Pacheco. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. On third down, it's Pacheco. A nice little juke, and he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one 28 yards on the ground. in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, or both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business. Uh, they were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even 